This one is a little bit more complicated. So we've got three colors and three shapes. Uh, red, green, and blue, squares, circles, and triangles. And in the top one here, we want the circles and squares of red and blue. And for the bottom one, we want red squares and green triangles. Now, there is also a time limit, so we will need to speed these things up. But we'll start off with the simplest part of the solutions, which is to separate the colors out. So we want the red and the blue here. Uh, so we'll start off with that. So if we do blue and green, then the red and the blue will go there, and the red and the green, we can filter out to there. So that's the easiest part. The next thing that we want to do is we'll filter out the red and the green. Because for the red, we want only the squares to go there. Circles need to go there. So red, green. And what we will do now is we'll do the green. So for the green, we only want the triangles. So that's easy enough. So triangle for green and triangle goes there and everything else we will trash. So we don't care about either the green squares or the green circles. For the reds, we care about the squares and the circles. So what we need to do is we'll pick up the, let's pick up the squares first and we'll send the squares there and then we need to pick up the circles which need to go there and the triangles go in the trash. So that is the bottom part of the branch which will take care of the reds and the greens there and the surplus ones which are the circle reds which will go in there. Now the top part, what we want to do is we want to get rid of the triangles. So let's do that and then we'll worry about the time limit. So we will get rid of the triangles which are just thrown out and everything else can go in there. Uh, so that is the blue and red, everything but the triangles which are the squares and the circles. Now when we test run this you will see that everything works properly except for the fact that we will run out of time and you will see that this one is getting jammed this one is getting stuck so the way to solve that the easiest way to solve that is to pop another decision tree color here put any and any so that basically causes it to parallelly process this so we'll have two outputs coming out of it so we will pass the first one to the sift that we already have and we'll pop another sift in, which does exactly the same thing. The triangles are trashed and everything else goes into this first output. We link that up and that should work. Uh, because this one should no longer be getting jammed because the input is being split into two and being fed to two separate nodes. There is, I don't think there's a guarantee on how the first one splits it up, but it seems to work out at roughly 50-50.